So it's great to know that you've got a lot of components within the endpoint solution, but I think what's important here to remember is that, is it working? Is everything doing what it should do? So we've actually got various auditing and reporting tools built into the management server to give you a at-a-glance, real-time view to be able to make or even evolve your policies if necessary, and at the same time give you more management-based reporting for you to review on a daily or monthly basis just to make sure everything's working. Let's take a closer look. Now there are various event viewers complementing various events, so for example plugging in a USB stick is a device control event, removing data from an endpoint is a data control event. If we look within the data control, you can, if you prefer, have a real-time glance within, say, the last hour, maybe based upon user, identifying what files, what source path they came from and where they were going to. And if needs be, you can even start filtering by user, computer, or even specific file names themselves. And if you're already aware of particular rule types, you can also start um, filtering them out and auditing that way. And then lastly, you can export this information into, say, a CSV or text format and then pass that on to the necessary auditing department. Now, if you want to move on from this kind of at-a-glance view and you want to have something a lot more long-term and much more fixed on a regular basis, and maybe, say, every six months, review your, your data control events or even have a look at seeing how compliant your endpoint estate is, have you had any known malicious attacks for example, you do have the reporting manager which gives you a bit more flexibility in what data you can present and in what format. As you can see there are some already pre-populated for you but you do have the ability to create your own and you can see these can either be on based on event history or even on the alerts and even summarizing over the last year how many threats you've had, how many cleanups have you had to attempt, those kinds of information as well as maybe also being more specific on users. So you can maybe identify a particular problem area and demonstrate via the reporting what information they've been looking at. Now let's look at a report I've already populated. As you can see with the data control events, uh, over 25 events have actually been triggered on confidential documents. Now this may be particularly high and you may want to address that later or even identify a solution right now. But more importantly, over a period of time, you can start matching and, and identifying the patterns and making a decision then. And if you prefer, you do have a graphical interface um, or interpretation, I should say, of their particular data. And then lastly, you're obviously not going to be needing to log into the Enterprise Console every time you want to run a report. So we have scheduled reporting now, which gives you that functionality of, say for example, emailing a report every month, every six months, to the necessary manager or audit, auditing department and displaying uh, the same information. And the schedule is very simple. You can designate a time, how often, over a period of maybe a month or six months, and then also deciding on the file format, even the language, and obviously the address that you'd like to send it to. So all in all, you're able to use the Sophos auditing and reporting tools to give you much more of an in-depth feel and understanding about how the Sophos endpoint solution is running within your endpoint estate.